New England Living is brought to you by Clark Sub-Zero and Wolf and Kohler Signature Store by Supply New England. And of course, please stop into the all new Seven Tide in the Seaport District in Boston. Well, we promised we're right here in Helen's kitchen, and I'm back with the chef from uh, La Scala, the executive chef, Frederick. How many courses have you prepared? We're going to have five courses, okay. including the welcome, but they are very spring oriented, so pretty light. You'll be surprised. So, we're going to fit your own smoked salmon, which is also one of the classic of La Scala, sliced by hand, which you're going to give it, give it a shot. <laughs> you trust me with a knife already? We're just starting? Oh, oh yes. But I took oh. some band aid with me. So don't worry. <laughs> You won't be slicing the salmon at scale, but it's okay. <laughs> so the idea, we have those very nice thin slices. We're going to take a homemade blinis. To kick it up a little bit, we use an horseradish cream. Okay. So fresh, creme fraiche, horseradish. So your very thin slices, you twist it just like little rolls of flour. You're going to let it sit on the blinis. And then we're going to finish that with a little dill spray. Yeah. Okay, so the last part is oh, the, the, the caviar. caviar. Yes. Goodness. Here we oh. go. <laughs> Course two, we're going to do a stuffed local salt fish with crab meat. We're going to use a little bit of butter, bread crumb, a little farm egg. So what we're going to do now, we're going to fold in the crab meat. Okay. So we're going to take a little bit of that crab mix here. You're going to use your finger to, to guide the crab meat. And then when we're done with that, roll it like that. Don't squeeze too tight, Let it, it comes naturally. Yes. That's good. Thank That's you. high praise from you. Thank I you. Know. Okay, the gnocchi. We're going to break the ricotta a little bit. We're going to season it first. It's just always easier to season first. Once the, the dough is made, it's a lot harder for the salt to find its way. Parmesan cheese. So all that you will find the recipe in your website. On our website. On our Are website. you plugging our website or on your website? On your website. Nice. Nice. Sounds great. Thank you. The gnocchi is now yes. rolled, mm -hmm. so we're going to take a piece of the dough and to use your two hands. <laughs> what? They're, they're running out of battery. <laughs> <laughs> then you take the back of a knife, using the, the, the fat side of the knife, you're going to pinch it and create a little uh, like pillow shape, you see? Yep. If I, were not, if I were using the other side, I would not have that little uh, shape. Thank you. We're going to keep it very, very, very simple. Salt and pepper never gets old. No. You know, you think it's simple, but it's not. It's, it's fundamental. We are pairing that with uh, yogurt sauce. Yogurt. Also, spring is, is about vegetable. Yeah. So we're going to use all those, those baby turnips mm -hmm. and those baby carrots. Instead of sauteing them, blanching them, we're going to roast them to get a lot of flavor out of that. We use, like everything else, a little bit of butter. Mm -hmm. We have a little mix of um, uh, cumin mm -hmm. and toasted coriander that we grind it into a coffee grinder. So we're going to add oh, that smells a little bit, a mm -hmm. couple of cloves of garlic. We're going to add two sprigs of rosemary. Now, to add a little bit of sweetness, we're going to add a tiny bit of honey. And we're going to drizzle that on top. That's your vegetable before mm -hmm. they're going to go in the oven. Those are delicious. And, and we're going to see them mm -hmm. in about half an hour when we're ready. So we're going to use a nice toasted bread. We're going to use Roquefort. You need a, a farm butter, a good butter, not the stick. You need a good honey. This one is unique. Really? That's from last fall. It's from um, pumpkin flour. I'm getting a sense that your ingredients should all be good if you want it to turn out good. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're elevating it here, obviously. That's what you Fifty percent of the battle is here. Mm -hmm. I'm like there for nothing, and yeah. almost you. Just, we're just, <laughs> we are just doing the best of what nature has to offer. Yeah. When guests came to the door, Helen's two dogs, Maisie and Rex, were the first ones there to greet them. Guests included friends old and new, and a special visit from Helen's daughter, who lives in nearby Manhattan. Horseneck Wine and Liquor's owner and resident wine expert Terry Rogers arrived for the party to talk with me about the wine she had paired for the dinner, some from her shop and several from Helen's cellar. Beginning with the starter, which is our smoked salmon course, we have the Billicart Salmon Brut Rosé. It cuts any of the oil that is in the smoked salmon. 
So the first course, the butter and the limoncello together bring a softness. The Chasson Montrachet brings the minerality that continues to show what the food can actually do. Gnocchi can have very light, easy flavors. So out of the cellar, I chose a burgundy. Was her cellar amazing? Her cellar is amazing. <laughs> I could live in that. Rack of lamb, classic. Rack of lamb with Bordeaux. She had a number of Bordeaux in her cellar. So I chose the 1986 Ducru Bocayu. And so now with our cheese course, blue cheese and sauterne are a match made in heaven. Classic cooking, a, a classic home, a classic architecture. Classic wines. I think Helen said it best. You have to find your happiness wherever you are at all times. Here's to new friends and old friends, those who are with us and those who are not. Here's to creating a beautiful life, a lovely home, superior talent, wine, food. That's New England Living in Greenwich, Connecticut. I'm Parker Kelly. Till next week. Cheers. 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 New England Living is brought to you by Clark, Sub-Zero, and Wolf, and Kohler Signature Store by Supply New England. And of course, please stop into the all-new Seven Tide in the Seaport District in Boston.